Hey, what's up everyone? Abbas here from Golden Motor. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about one of the most important components of your e-bike, the e-bike battery. So I'm gonna tell you some simple and effective methods how to maintain your e-bike battery so you can get the most out of every ride. And then most of all, how to increase the lifespan of your battery. So roll the intro. So the lifespan of a lithium ion battery is measured in charge cycles. A typical battery has between 500 and 1000 charge cycles, uh, depending on the type of battery. A rule of thumb is if you have uh, branded cells inside the battery, it will last you much longer. Uh, so what is the charge cycle? Basically when you deplete your battery all the way down and then you charge it to 100%, that's one charge cycle. So tip number one to increase your lifespan of your battery is to not overcharge your battery. So a typical charger has a red LED and a green LED. Red means when you plug it in that it's charging. Green means it is fully done. So you, what you want to do is try to unplug it uh, as soon as it turns green or, you know, don't wait too long after it turns green to unplug it. Uh, if you're like me and you forget all the time, it would be good to invest in like a variable charger or like a cycle satiator that turns automatically off when you reach that 100%. So tip number two, proper storage. So it's ideal to store your battery in a cool, dry place away from any kind of extreme temperature, like extreme cold or extreme hot. I've seen people who store their battery in the car in the summer months um, when they're not riding it not a good idea or don't keep it in your garage when it's the cold months because you want to avoid any kind of extreme temperature the ideal temperature to store your battery is between 68 to 77 degrees fahrenheit and if you're not going to be using a battery for a longer period of time and you're storing it uh, the best thing to do or the ideal thing to do is to charge it up to 100 percent and then let it slowly discharge to 40 to 50 percent before storing it and the reason why to do that is because it balances the cells and then it prevents any kind of long-term damage. Tip number three, avoid charging your battery to 100% all the time. So what most people do is when they're ready to ride, the battery is low, they plug it in. As soon as it, the green light comes on the charger, they take it out and it's 100% and they take it for a ride. It's not a big deal, um, but if you charge your battery to 100% all the time, it will actually stress the cells inside the battery and you're decreasing charge cycles on the uh, battery. So overall, you're decreasing the lifespan of your battery. So most of us, when we're going for a ride, we're not going to be using 100% of our charge all the time. We know that, hey, I'll get away with 80% charge, 90% charge. Uh, but it's, it's so much more convenient just plug it in and then come back later when it's green, take it out. Uh, but if you're concerned about the extending the lifespan of your battery, uh, something like a variable charger will be really nice to invest in. So this one has a digital display. Some have like a knob where you can set it to 80%, 90% or 100%. And what it does is when it charges up to that percentage, the charger automatically turns off. And this way you will actually extend the lifespan of your battery. So you're increasing the total number of charge cycles. Uh, or if you wanna get like a cycle satiator. So this is a very sophisticated charger, really nice charger, it's quite pricey. But what you can do with this one is you can actually set the percentage and you can actually set what voltage you want it to stop charging at. And with this one, you can do a lot of other fun stuff where you get one charger and you can charge multiple voltage batteries with this one. Um, you can actually change the charging speed with this one. Um, but this one is pricey. So if you have multiple e-bikes and you're concerned about like extending the life of your battery, this is a nice thing to go with. But if for most people, a simple variable charger where you can set the settings on 80, 90 or 100% and the charger turns off, this will be a nice investment. Tip number four, avoid deep discharge of your battery. So when I say deep discharge, that doesn't mean when you're regularly riding your e-bike and it goes down to zero where your e-bike's not working. Your e-bike will never go down to zero volts. The reason for that is because most controllers will have a low voltage cutoff and it'll cut off the uh, motor and the battery when you have certain thresholds. Or if you have a, if you buy your battery from a reputable e-bike company or it's branded cells, they most of the time they have a BMS, which is a battery management system. Basically it's monitors, uh, it keeps your cells balanced and it doesn't let one of your cells go to discharge more than others. So, but if you're buying your battery from an eBay or Amazon, 
no guarantees there. So you want to go with a reputable brand name and a reputable e-bike company. But what I mean by deep discharge is like I mentioned in tip number two, when you're storing your e-bike battery for a long time and you did not charge it up to 40% or 50% before you left it for storage, your battery cells will slowly deplete over time. And then when you try to plug it in again, you might not, you might have made your battery dead or uh, you're actually decreasing the lifespan of your battery. So like I said, you know, you want to keep your battery regularly charged. And if you're storing it away for a long period of time, keep it charged to 40 or 50% before storing it away. And finally, tip number five, clean and inspect your battery regularly. So when you're inspecting your battery, look out for signs for like dents or cracks or leaks. And if you find any, uh, stop using a battery immediately and then show it to a professional. Um, and then when you're cleaning your battery, don't use water or chemicals, just use a dry soft cloth because this will prevent it from getting corroded um, and damaging the battery. Um, that's it for this video. Hopefully these five tips were useful for you. Um, these were the most common tips that we came across that we hear from customers all the time too. Uh, but if you have any other tips, please share with us in the comments below. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.